Okay, hello. So here are the guide to do hardware. So I will start with the capacitor because capacitor is actually the I think for me the easiest one to get. Okay. So first of all, you have to look at your simulation. So I will not show the simulation, but I'll, I'll just show the drawing. So this is an example of a bulk converter. Depend on your converter. Okay. So usually power converter, you need to have a capacitor. For this case, this one is the capacitor. So let me label this. This one, C. This one is L. Okay. This one is diode. And this one is the MOSFET. Okay. So... Uh, so usually when you want to buy a capacitor first you have to look at the voltage okay and the farad okay the in uh, capacitance okay you have to look two things when you want to buy so capacitance of course you have to calculate based on your design okay so so you already calculate the capacitance and you already insert here. Of course, uh, I hope you already consider the non-ideality. When you calculate using formula, usually it is ideal condition. So, for example, you have 100 microfarad. So, you need to remember that there will be a series capacitor or ESR inside here. Okay. So, how I can draw. Okay. So, So it uh, it's actually have a series uh, series resistant here. Okay, it's called ESR. So if your ideal calculation is hundred microfarad. Okay, maybe use a different color. Uh, C equals to hundred microfarad, and of course you have to increase it because of the non-ideality, the internal resistance here. So usually we multiply by 1.5 minimum. It is called a safety factor. Okay, so we have to increase it. If your calculation is 100, usually we have to increase it 1.5 to two times. Okay, this is the standard. Okay, standard practice. So uh, because capacitor is cheap, so you can just choose 200 microfarad. Okay, so this is the capacitance and then when you want to buy a capacitor you have to consider the voltage for this case the voltage across the capacitor here is V out okay for this case okay basically you have to measure the voltage across the capacitor and you have to consider all the operating point so for this case you can see here there are two operating point duty cycle 0 0.3 and 0 0.7 okay and you have to look at the voltage so V at the capacitor or V C okay V at the capacitor because it is parallel it should be have the same so you can see here the big one is actually at 0 0.7 okay so you have to look at this voltage for example this one is maybe 70 volt this one is 100 volt so you have to look at this point okay not the normal operation steady state voltage but the maximum peak voltage so your voltage rating should be 100 okay volt and better to multiply by same here safety factor is around 1.5 to 2 okay so for this case v should be 150 volt okay so safety factor is basically what if you have something wrong with the circuit it will not damage the component okay so 1.3 is 1.5 is okay 1.3 also okay but cannot be lower than that 1.3 also quite dangerous okay so that is for buying uh, trying to choose a capacitor and of course this value usually is not available the value usually they have certain value only i suggest you choose a higher one for example uh, 150 right eh, 200 microfarad uh, they have 200 microfarad right? but if to something they don't have it you have you usually have to choose the higher one so how to find the capacitor okay you have two options okay first you have to go to uh, the local store for the utm student only you can go to top one this is top one technology at taman u okay 
Okay, this is the address. You can go there and it has open and close time. Make sure you check it first. Sometimes they close. Okay, so you can go there. You have you can buy the component here. Top one technology. Okay, you have multiple component. You can go there. Okay, you can buy it. Okay, so easy. So if you if the local supplier don't have it, okay, you have to go to online supplier so on the supplier you have two options either element 14 or rs okay rs online malaysia okay so this one is much more cheaper but there is not too much component okay element 14 has more component but it is quite expensive so for this case you just search capacitor okay search capacitor Okay, let me... Yeah, passive component, capacitor. Okay. So, you can see here, this is DC. So, means that positive and... Always positive and negative, DC. Okay. When it's DC, you can buy electrolytic capacitor. Okay. But if uh, you are using for AC, okay, alternative current, you cannot use this. This is have polarity. So, if you use this, it will... Uh, break okay explode so if you are using ac you have to use thin uh, film capacitor or mica but mica usually quite vo uh, small voltage and capacitor i suggest you use a film okay so make sure this one is for ac okay this one is for dc dc this one also can be dc no problem dc has no problem but ac you have to be careful ac make sure you don't use electrolytic capacitor Okay, so this another one is much more other for other couple uh, application. Okay, so for this case, I suggest just use aluminium. It's much more cheaper actually. Okay, so you can see here, there are a lot of it. I suggest you just use leaded. Okay, leaded aluminium electrolytic capacitor. Okay, so when you choose this. Uh, you have to key in the capacitor Like you see here It is 200 right before 200 microfarad So I suggest you choose 200 microfarad But don't choose directly Because sometimes the component is too small So you have to put, choose a range Minimum is 200 because you already calculate 200 right And then you choose around 300 So you have more range Okay and then the voltage, of course, you already calculated before here. It is around 150. So same things. You have to choose 150 here to 300 maybe. 350. Okay. So you show product. Okay. So you have all the product. Okay. And next thing, when it comes to capacitor, you have to look at the ESR. Okay. You look here, USR. You sort it. Okay, USR basically the series resistance here. Smaller is better. So after you click it, it will sort it. Where is it? Ah, yeah, this one. So only two that show. Okay, not very good. Okay, but it's okay. If you cannot see that, okay. Next thing you have to look is this one availability. Okay, make sure it is available. And next thing you have to look is the price. Okay. Make sure the price is not very high. So this one is high quality. Okay. But for low, uh, for your application is not too good. Okay. If you want to do high quality power converter, maybe you are, this one is important. But for low application capacitor, usually around one ringgit only. Okay. So for this case, okay. Like I said before, element 14 is quite expensive. So I suggest you better check in the top one, uh, top one first. If no, you can go here. But try to find a cheap one, okay? And also available. If not available, you cannot order it. So, or you can just sort it accordingly because ESR is not available. So this one is the cheapest one. Actually, it's quite expensive. Capacitor is usually around one ringgit, two ringgit only. 
so this one is not very good eh? quite expensive ok let me click it back ok so that is how you find a capacitor and then after for example I choose this one because it's available it's not too expensive and uh, yes, it's not mentioned so it's ok we cannot do anything about that ok you just click this ok you open an excel file ok so let me pause first ok you have to open an excel I suggest you write it in excel you just make like this ok item for example capacitor ok and then copy the link ok 220 250 volt Capacitor 220 microfarad 250 volt. Okay. Okay. Let me add this. Okay. Supplier. I suggest you put supplier because it's easy to sort. Because you want to buy at different supplier, it is easy to do like this. So top uh, element 14, right? Okay. So easier to group the order later. Okay. So you put the link here and you put the price. So the price is 1551. 15.51. Okay. So quantity. Okay. So you can see the design you only need one. And capacitor is hard to broke. So I suggest uh, for safety you just buy two. Okay. If this one is cheap, you can buy multiple. But it's expensive. Okay. 15 is considered as expensive. Only buy two okay so that is how you write your sorry uh order okay so that is how you write your order okay so then when you write everything up you can sort according to supply and you can just send it to your supervisor or you can just buy it accordingly you know, because you already write the supplier you can just easily tick the complete one according to the supplier okay so that's it for capacitor okay don't forget to watch the next video okay that's it thank you